welcome let us discuss another new topic in shear center in previous videos we have seen look how to locate shear center for channel section and unequal eye section and here let us see the same for angle section and t section let us get into that introduction if uh, already we have discussed in the previous videos or still if you are watching this video for the first time let me recall it very quickly shear center is a point uh, so before that uh, talking about shear center we have three types of uh, sections one is section is symmetrical about both axes so for example rectangular section and symmetrical i section if you see these th uh, two sections the sections are symmetrical about both axes and for this case the shear center will be located at the center and second case is this is first case and second case is the sections may be symmetrical ab about one axis uh, for example channel section it is symmetric about horizontal axis or uh, you, ca you, ca you can also turn it and that is second uh, symmetrical about both axis symmetrical about one axis in this case shear center will be located somewhere on this axis of symmetry um, it may be inside or outside the section and unsymmetrical section like angle section so these three are the examples for three types of sections which is unsymmetrical this is not symmetrical about any axis in such cases we shall see where it is it is located okay and now i said it will be located inside or outside and main significance of this shear center is if you apply the load at the point shear center there will be no twisting of the beam there will be only bending it will not twist or otherwise if you apply load anywhere except the shear center that may be subjected to twisting in order to avoid torsion or twisting in the beam you have to apply the load at this shear center and this is an imaginary point it is not uh, possible to apply the load at this point but in order to find out the location uh, the amount of torque produced while the design of steel structures we consider this okay that is that is just we are locating the shear center how much distance it is there from the center center of the section that is what we have to see yeah, yes that is a quick uh, uh, brief explanation about shear center i hope you have understood so please read the points this is also known as center of twist this is what i said uh, two axis of symmetry one axis of symmetry and for uh, uh, no axis of symmetry we shall see that now and this is these are the cases what happens if the load is up, not applied at the shear center you can see in this image the uh, the twist you can see the twi twist over here for this section is twisting like this this is also twisting this is also twisting if the shear center you can see it is located outside the section if you could apply load at this point there will be no twisting only bending will be there in the section then you can apply pure bending theory m by i is equal to sigma by y is equal to e by r okay let us come to angle section what is our main topic today angle section shows in the figure the shear center lies at the point o because this force f star is balanced by another force and the applied force however this uh, at this point all the moments will be balanced so i can say this point uh, at this point at this corner point or i can say this is the intersection point the shear center will be located for angle section this is a common point of intersection of applied vertical force f and shear uh, shear stress f star produced in the channel section so you can see f star how it is flowing i have already told you the shear how the shear force uh, will follow a path in the section okay so for this ultimately for the uh, angle section the shear center will be located at the intersection point that is the shear center right so simply you can say that the calculation is also very easy well, just you have to look at the point that's it so if you have these dimensions you can easily look at it so see for angle section you i have shown you different types of angle sections here so angle section ultimately will be located at the intersection point here intersection of f star and vertical uh, vertical force which is being applied so if you could apply the load at the shear center at the intersection there will be no twist in the beam but uh, generally will load will be applied somewhere on the section that is about angle section let us see t section now you can see here inverted t section and for this also the shear center will be located at the intersection of the forces 
because the moment of distributed stress about this point is obviously zero and the shear stress uh, center for section c uh, for this t section is this point c so i forgot to mention the point c here so this is what the shear uh, the location of shear center for t section and you can see different uh, types of t section here ultimately the shear center will be located at this point and for this kind of problems, I have already told you this is symmetric about one axis, one axis, vertical axis. I have already told you uh, for the shear center, uh, for the sections which are having one axis of symmetry, shear center will be located at somewhere on the axis of symmetry. So as it is vertical and uh, you can see centroidal axis somewhere here, right? This is, this is Y bar. And you can see this is y axis. The shear center is locating at the intersection that is nothing but it is on the axis of y. Right. So here also this is at the axis of symmetry and at the intersection, at the intersection point for the for all these T sections. So you can see all these types of T sections uh, in a lot of steel structures. Generally the shapes will be like this. The shapes of uh, uh, steel members will be uh, like T section, channel section, I section. So many of them you will see um, very clearly in design of steel structures in the next semester. And as of now, remember where to locate the shear center for angle section and T section. That's all for today. Thank you all. And uh, this is the last video for the shear center and unsymmetrical bending. And here if you have any doubt, please let me know. There is no homework for today. Uh, please watch all the previous videos and follow the instructions and do the uh, do practice the problems. You may send it to my mail ID. If you have any doubts, also you can contact me. Thank you.